Welcome to Wellness Wednesday. I'm Brittany LaDuke. I am a physical therapist assistant at Innovative PT Solutions, and I'm also a certified personal trainer. So today we're gonna kind of elaborate on some of that shoulder strengthening. Um, today it's gonna be more focused towards the rotator cuff. There's four muscles that pretty much um, keep the shoulder together. <laughs> so we're gonna focus on those four muscles. Um, you will need a resistance band for the, today. So you can get these pretty much anywhere. You can stop in at Innovative PT Solutions um, here in Watertown, New York, and grab one of the bands there. You can also get different packages. Um, usually they come in a set of three, like a light, medium, and heavy. Um, Amazon, Target, Walmart, Dick Sporting Goods, any of those stores or places, those um, usually carry some kind of resistance band. It will be easier, easier if you can get it in like a straight band like this versus sometimes they come in loops. You're gonna want a straight band for these exercises. Um, so just keep watch on that on the packaging if you are purchasing somewhere else. And each resistance um, company or each packaging, wherever you get it from, the colors may be differently. So because I'm using a red band doesn't mean just grab the red band out of the package. Read it, make sure you see which one is light, medium, and heavy. Start with the lightest one, go from there, and build your way up. All right, so the first one is going to be a row. You're going to take your band and any door in the house, you're going to take it, go straight onto the door. Can you see it? Okay. And then you're going to wrap around both handles. So you're going to take it straight perpendicular to the door. Go behind both handles, and now you have both ends. So you're here, and then you're just going to pull it back, squeeze the shoulder blades, hold for one to two seconds, and then relax. Come back, squeeze, and relax. So when you're doing this, your chest should be forward and high and your chin should be nice and level. You don't wanna be coming down and you wanna squeeze the muscles between your shoulder blades to do the motion. Your hands are staying just about at your waist level. And coming back just like that. This exercise is great, 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 great for posture. Just like that, that's a row. All right, next you can close the door. Make sure someone's not gonna be walking through the door when you do this next exercise. I'm gonna take just around the handle or the doorknob and I always tie it in a double knot just because I wanna make sure it's not gonna come off. And usually just give it a couple pulls just to make sure it's not gonna come flying across the room once you start the exercise. All right, so the next one is gonna be external rotation. I'm gonna show you with my right hand, similar to the one that we did, um, the video that I did for shoulder stretching. I'm gonna keep it all with the right so you can stay consistent and see the exercise. All right, so using your right hand for external rotation, your left side will be against the wall. You're gonna take the band with your right hand, tuck that elbow close to your side, make sure your shoulders are square and you're not rotated, standing up nice and tall, good posture, bring that hand out away from your body, but your elbow stays close to your body and you're gonna do this 10 times or as instructed by your physical therapist or surgeon. And just do 10 repetitions, just like that. 
keeping your elbow close to you. If you notice that it's really difficult for you to keep that elbow tucked in, you can roll up a towel or like I'm gonna take my dog's toy, tuck it right in there and rotate out. Having something between your elbow and your torso makes your body more aware to keep that elbow close to you and you'll know that you're doing it incorrectly if that falls. So tuck something between your elbow and your torso for that external rotation exercise and you'll do it correctly every single time. All right, <clears throat> next is gonna be internal rotation. Now, what you would do, keeping it on the same arm, you would turn around and do it this way. Now, because I'm not gonna put my back to you, I'm gonna show you with my left hand. You will have the same side to the door that you're gonna be exercising, that you're gonna be working. So if it's your right arm that you are rehabbing, then have your right side towards the door. This is just to show you. Elbow is gonna be in towards your side again. And again, a 90 degree angle or so at your elbow. And then you're gonna take it and just pull it in towards your belly. So pulling it in towards your body, keeping yourself from rotating. You don't wanna be twisting your torso. Nice, good posture, standing up nice and tall. Shoulders are back and down. Head is nice and straight, going into that internal rotation. Again, I would start with maybe around 10 repetitions, but if your surgeon and physical therapist say something different, follow what they say. Next, I'm gonna show you a punch forward. So you're gonna have your back against the door. I'm showing you with my right hand again, you're gonna have your hand on top of the band. Some people will hold it like this where the band comes over top of the hand. That is okay. It just might pull on your skin and your hair on your forearm. So I always just grab right over top to avoid that. And then you're gonna go from a bent elbow to a straight elbow. So a punch forward here. Make sure you do not do something like this where you're coming up into flexion. You want to go into a punch, more of a protraction with this. So bent to straight, just like that. All right, and then our last one is one that I call a chicken wing, <laughs> not the technical name for it. So it's abduction to about 45 degrees or so. So when you come out to the side, this is called abduction. What we're gonna do is only go to about here. This is 90 degrees, so take just about half of that. So full abduction, this is 90 degrees. We're gonna go to about here. You're gonna have your left side towards the wall, similar to our external rotation setup where your elbow is gonna be bent at a 90 degree angle, but this time you're gonna bring that elbow away from your body and back down. My elbow does not straighten or bend. It stays right there at the 90 degree, and my wrist is nice and stable. So you're gonna come up to 45 degrees of abduction and then back down. This is the one that I call the chicken wing. If any of these increase pain or really bother you, please stop them. Don't try to push through it. Strengthening will be a little uncomfortable due to like a muscle soreness, but it should not be painful. If you're getting pain, please talk to your physical therapist or your surgeon or doctor, whoever is um, taking care of you, and notify them that this hurts, it does not feel good, what should I do about it? So if you do have a post-op shoulder, so you've had surgery, you've gone through all the stretching, you've now been released to start strengthening, your physical therapist have 
has given you these exercises, they feel good, but it's a little sore after, that is okay. Put some ice on it, let it cool down, give yourself a little break. Maybe do another round of stretching after, and that should get better in time because you're building that strength back up. So I hope this helps you. This is for rotator cuff strengthening, and I'll see you soon. Bye.